So I am going to do my political persuasion on the COVID vaccine. And since Trump has been in the office, there's been this COVID um, coronavirus going on. And since Biden, and which is till now, modern day. Um, I think everyone should get the vaccine because it is a way to stop causing the spread. And there are three vaccines that have been trialed and have worked on, it says, 60% of people and the sources that I found. There have been vaccine myths, and it's on a scholarly, scholarly page from the website called Science. Any age can get the coronavirus, but it's commonly found within the mid-age to elderly age, and there have been some babies in the about 35% of babies get it, which is pretty low. So today I want to talk about the three vaccines that you could get. And the first vaccine is a brand name called the, the Pfizer BioNTech. This age recommendation is five plus years old. Primary series is two doses given three weeks, 21 days apart. The booster dose, everyone ages 16 years and older and is eligible at least six months after the last dose is their primary series. For people ages 18 years and older, any of the three COVID-19 vaccines can be used for the booster dose. Teens 16 to 17 years old can only get a Pfizer Biotech COVID-19 vaccine booster. So teens between 16 and 17 years old can only get a Pfizer Biotech COVID-19 vaccine booster. When fully vaccinated, two weeks after second dose. After the second dose, you're fully vaccinated. So majority of the time, or the, the time that it would take, or in how many doses is two doses. So we have to go in twice, but it's given three weeks, 21 days apart. So I, I think that's a pretty good one. Um, the next one is the Moderna brand. And this age recommendation is 18 and plus years old. Primary series is about two doses and it's given four weeks, 28 days apart. The booster dose, everyone ages 18 years and older is eligible at least six months after the last dose in their primary series. Any of the three COVID-19 vaccines can be used for the booster dose. But when you are fully vaccinated, it's two weeks after the second dose. So again, there's two doses. There's two doses. The next brand is a Johnson & Johnson's Jensen's. Jensen's. And this age recommendation is 18 plus years old. The primary series is one dose. I actually heard that this, by experience, gives people big bruises or somewhat feels nauseous or sick after they get this shot. The booster dose is at least two months after first dose in all people ages 18 years and older. Any of the three COVID-19 vaccines can be used for the booster dose. So that's actually pretty good because it's the same shot that you could get and you get it twice. So you're basically double dosing yourself within the same shot. And when fully vaccinated, it's two weeks after first dose. Um, <clears throat> There are additional boosters, there are additional primary doses, which can help you um, build your immune system way better than just taking the original shots within the two week period or the four week period or the three week period, which was given the week periods within each uh, vaccine. There have been myths. I know all around there have been myths about the vaccine and how it should be this and how it should that be that. Or there's, there are myths within presidential and political campaigning and how the Democrats are causing more in order to try to get money and the Republicans are trying to fight it and show the truth 
there have been back and forth, back and forth. There have been religious views on this as well as the rapture is coming and this is the sign or the symbol that you implant in yourself and there have been many myths about this. But I believe by personal experiences that people had within these vaccines, there have been different um, there have been this, different things that have happened, and I think it's good to talk to people who have had the vaccines. There have been side effects, and the common side effects are which first on the arm where you get the shot, there's pain, redness, and swelling, and because of this, this causes your arm to do one of these three. Because you rather you could be allergic to this medication, this vaccine, or your body just not used to this type of medicine being in you. Throughout the rest of your body, for this pain, there's tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. And there are actually have been Johnson Johnson symptoms within fever, nausea, headache. I have seen and I know people who have got the Johnson Johnson and have like got this. And I'm talking about this because politically Politically, there have been debates around getting it and not getting it. And Biden has told many speeches within how we should get vaccinated. And it looked really bad when President Trump, not saying I did vote for him, but when President Trump was saying we shouldn't get vaccinated and he got the coronavirus. And some people are immune to it just because that's how their body is. And it's how their surroundings, their social life, and how immune the body can be. And people just end up getting it because it could be ill from other sicknesses or it's just other diseases that they have that can cause inflammation, pain, or redness. Mm -hmm.